Hey there guys, Alton here. Well, you know, I think my camera is not recording properly. Yeah, I really think the battery is going to have to be changed soon. It's like the quality is off or something, I don't know. Yeah, ooh. Oh, look at this, I don't know, I turned off the music and Gloria has come to join us. Ooh, let's get a look at her here. Meow, Gloria. Mm, meow. Oh, I like the camera. It was a good kitty cat. Oh, yeah, big pussy cat with a big tail. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I've been working pretty hard on that uh, uh, drawing slash painting because originally it started as a drawing and, uh, well, here we are. And uh, I wanted to get some more work done into it before, you know, I basically show you guys what I've been improving on. Not just, you know, because everything is pretty much there, but everything's been needing uh, some tweaking. Uh, due to my errors and like I said in the last video due to uh, uh, making this deciding to paint everything here instead of just some paint or all markers because it's this is paper it's not meant for to be doing painting on or so should I say serious paintings because as I pointed out in my 61 monarch painting I did a couple of years ago as a comparison uh, this is a texture to it on a canvas a typical canvas so that it's it's meant for that. It's meant for uh, uh, so that the paint comes on more smoothly, evenly, you know, compared to this. And uh, yeah, one of the things that's annoying about this camera, I don't know why, I can't fucking fix it. It seems to be, maybe it is because the battery's fucked. Because I have to get that changed soon. It's on order, but it, it's showing like it's like there's this brightness overcompensation. I don't know why. I tried to look at the settings for the camera. I can't fucking figure it out. So. Um, Anyway, so I've been, uh, so again, I'm trying to fucking, you know, put this lamp so it doesn't shine too brightly. It's really, it's because it's showing us brighter than it is. Yeah, okay, that's like really fucking annoying. Anyway, whatever, at least it's not in the dark. Oh, coffee, yeah, thank you, I'll have some. Hmm. Hmm. That uh, javelin, I drew this. Uh, with a series of other American Motors cars like back in 2002 and uh, sold them to a cat named Chris Rickert and uh, he made cups, coffee mugs out of them made in New York, in the USA mm. I'm probably going to have to like use my regular camera to continue this because this ca fucking camera on the phone is great pictures but doesn't film for really long what do you want going on? Hmm? Want to go to bed? Glory loves to go to bed with daddy. Anyway, so as you can see, I've been... Oh, you know what? I don't... I think the camera's fucked. Yeah, I think this battery is fucked. And I'm just going to go get my regular camera. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't like the way this is looking. I even knew it, especially when I filmed an ambulance responding near my place recently at night. Just the lights on it flashing way too bright. No, I don't know. I can't figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to switch cameras. Okay, so here I am with the... Uh... The, can the Canon 620HS there that I usually use to film or, or mostly use to film everything and show you what kind of a day it is here, Friday the 13th, not turning out to be a great day. Uh, I think internationally, I um, mean in here it's, look at the winds are clocking up to almost 70 kilometers an hour and it's bad enough uh, we're uh, getting closer, it seems to a lockdown or quarantine, our borders being closed, our flights canceled everywhere and uh, Gloria doesn't know what the fuck's going on, right? So. Regardless of all that, uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm pushing myself to, to finish this. It's not just because I don't like fucking doing something and not finishing it. It's also because of the fact that, like, you know, what if something happened I died? Well, it wouldn't be finished, you know. Now, I was saying before that all those waves that I created by using all that paint should uh, flatten out if properly framed. Uh, I framed a lot of stuff. I can't guarantee that, actually. Uh, I think maybe what I'll do is when it's done, I'm going to put a shitload of books over it and see if it flattens it out. So over some time, you know. All right, I found this picture that I downloaded from the internet of uh, said same Cadillac Eldorado, 76. That's how I got the idea to do uh, this color, this dark green. You see, this very beautiful dark green. And it wasn't, uh, uh, not a common color for these cars. And I think it, there are certain cars, in my opinion, classic cars, old cars, that they're rare... They were rarely ordered in certain colors, or they've become rare in certain colors because the cars that they were ordered in certain colors then 
you know, maybe they were really cool and they were driven hard and into the ground and had early lives, you know what I mean? So, um, now, um, you can see from my drawing that I'm trying to do things as pretty precise as possible. Pretty, you know, in terms of proportions, I've painted this body now three times, you know, touching up on the uh, the bumper and the tail lights. That's gonna, the tail lights themselves will need more touching up. You know, little tweaking things. I have to obviously put a little paint again, a little more in the white walls, and you know, the trim the trim over here needs a little more uh, work, and the interior as well, a little more detail. Uh, Metro sign looks good. That's gonna, gonna need just a little bit more. Uh, a little more dark blue over here. This, actually wait, let me get that picture, hang on. Okay, here it is. Here it is, here's a picture I got. Uh, again, downloaded on, well, I didn't download it, it's online on Google. Uh, Cadillac Metro Station, like I had mentioned, it was completed in uh, 76, I think, or 70, yeah, 76. And uh, really a big reason, like other stations nearby, was for the Montreal Olympics at the Olympic Stadium. Um, okay, I'm not putting those fucking trees, all those bushes there, because this is a more recent picture. I think, judging by the quality, it looks like it was taken with slide film. I, I should know. I took, I've taken hundreds of pictures, if not thousands of pictures, I should say, with slide film. Uh, I did some work on the window frames. I painted them again because they were looking pretty, uh, pretty sketch. Uh, I got to work on these windows. That's a priority. That's coming. I might even do that today. Uh, oh, yeah, this. This pillar here, you can see right in the back there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something. Okay, I don't know if this is, I think this is the first or second time I paint the station itself. As you can see, this brown would be more correct if it was a dark day or raining, but it might, I might leave it the way it is because I'm tired of painting it. And secondly, this is, as you can see by the darkness of the sky, it's supposed to be more like, you know, kind of like dusk, you know, like sunset kind of thing. Versus this picture here looks like it was taken you know, late in the day or afternoon or something. Um, so anyway, that pillar is, believe it or not, is a tower for a church. I'm not kidding. You. That's a church right there. And there's like this church, this tower here. It looks like the fucking CN Tower, actually, the structure. And there's a, there's a cross on top of it. So, um, so yeah, anyway, it's going well. I don't know when I'm going to finish it. I just keep finding fucking more and more things that I have to paint or fix. You know, actually, like, to, truth be told, I should add the fucking chimney in the back of this commercial building here, right? Put that there. I should probably put one or two of these ventilation systems. I don't know if they're all there, because, again, this picture, judging by that Impala parked over there, it was probably taken about 10 years ago or more. But I'm happy. It's going well, you know? And, uh, by the way, those of you who don't know me, I am visually impaired. So, when I, uh, when I, well, there's proof right there. Look at the thickness of my glasses. But when I draw in color... You know, I literally, I'm like this. I'm like literally like this. And I actually thought about setting up the tripod of, uh, so you guys can, you know, well, not see me do my thing live, but you can see that I'm not full of shit. And I am the real uh, genuine article, uh, visually impaired, bipolar, uh, Montrealer, uh, proud Montrealer, Canadian, eccentric artist, and, uh, you know, freaking loudmouth Bulgarian. And Christ, come to think of it, look at this wall. Uh, this, look at this wall. Look at this sky. I should almost, I'm going to have to fucking do something about that because, as much as I love that tone of blue, you can see the streak. So, ideally, you might need another coat. I don't know. I might throw some, a fade in there or something. I don't know. But it's not too easy to do fading again because this is paper and not canvas. Other than that, I'm very happy the way it's going. Let me just see if I can give you another view of it here so that there's not so much. Um, of this bright light. Oh, yeah, the waves. It's like shit. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to stop eventually somewhere, and that'll be that. And then I'll uh, start making plans on working my my uh, 747 uh, scale model. Um, so, anyway, um, well, that's it, guys. Uh, I want to, of course, thank you for uh, watching. And uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And um, if you're still with me, if you've seen several of my videos, you're obviously not offended by swearing, so fucking kudos to you, man. Or madam. And um, if you want to support the cause, as you can see, I just live in a small uh, two-bedroom apartment. Um, and you want to uh, show your love in terms of, uh, you know, because money talks and bullshit walks, as they say. Well, check me out on Patreon, Elton McFall uh, at Hotmail.com is also my email, Elton McFall at Hotmail.com if you want to. Uh, sh you know, show your appreciation uh, without Patreon by email, uh, 
PayPal or an e-transfer, you know, whatever you want to donate is great. It's always appreciated. And, uh, and uh, yeah, despite all the shit going on in the world, I'm, um, you know, I'm doing this or whatever else. I'm going to go out a little later, and I don't know, not far, obviously, because I'm still recuperating from the pericarditis. Hey. Got to go get the colchicine later at the uh, pharmacy. And um, anybody interested in my Christine painting, uh, I prefer not to ship it, but I will ship it. Because uh, shipping it is a big pain in the ass to, to wrap something up like that. It's not sending it, It's not like sending a fucking toaster, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, it's not cheap. It's many hundreds of dollars. So, uh, um, yeah, and just to finish here, just to show you some stuff I have on my walls here. Like this picture I got out of a 1985 book from Montre about Montreal then and now. And I think this picture was taken on uh, Rue de Lormier. There's some trucks there and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that one I'll eventually have to build too. That's of course if we're still all around in fucking six months, eh? 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 Well, we'll see. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, take care. Uh, adios. Bye bye.